Hello everyone, so this is going to be part 3. Uh, in part 1 we discussed about uh, you know early hunger cue and uh, mother's preparation for breastfeeding. In part 2 we saw uh, baby's position and also how to contour breast uh, and how to bring baby, how to land baby on breast and how to latch the baby. Okay. Now, in this part 3 we are going to learn about uh, different other you know counseling points which are again very very important for baby to gain weight. Okay. So, here now what we will do let us let us uh, start uh, just uh, bring the baby in a position that I have uh, explained earlier you know again cross cradle hold okay. baby is uh, ready to kind of uh, baby is landed okay, on a breast correctly with little bit of extension of neck. Okay, and uh, nair is uh, kind of opposite of nipple. I am holding the breast in a U shape and contouring it uh, and now uh, you know baby is ready to latch. Once baby latches on I just examine the latch you know by uh, pressing on the breast near a lower areola. Okay. One thing again I, I keep reiterating it is that uh, baby's uh, head should be completely facing the breast. Okay. It should not be facing up. Okay, it should be completely facing the breast. So, in this position what happens the upper area, upper lip is coming at 3 o'clock position on left side and the lower lip is coming at the uh, 9 o'clock position uh, you know at uh, in, in cross cradle hold on left side. Okay. So, here now again I pressed it examine the ledge everything looks good baby's mouth is 120 degree uh, lower lip is at the location of the lower illa border uh, also both uh, lips and chin are embedded into breast. Now, I bring the uh, you know other hand and basically supporting the uh, legs and I have my hands are again still kind of supporting baby's neck. Okay. Now, here now mother is ready to relax. Okay. So, what she does she kind of bends uh, you know in a kind of her, uh, her back is straight you know she is relaxing it. Okay. She is relaxed very important to relax. Okay. Both her shoulder are close to her body. Okay. Now, what happens many times especially in first uh, you know few, few weeks or so baby tends to sleep a lot. Okay. So, when baby is kind of feeding well and say within 4 minutes 5 minutes baby kind of went to sleep or baby stops. Now, what I recommend is not to let kind of baby sleep on it for a long time you know because what happens is that you want to finish that uh, feeding as as fast as possible so that you can also get some rest. Okay. So, here in this position what I do in this situation I tell mother to wake up the baby. Okay. The way I wake up the baby is I tell mother either kind of you know with uh, her fingers over the side you know she can basically just behind the uh, ears she can stimulate that skin over there. Or she can basically around her uh, baby spine she can stimulate around the spine you know just kind of tickling the spine or another thing what she can do is basically with this finger you know she can uh, tickle baby's feet. Okay. Now, suppose if baby is not waking up with this uh, all three things that you have done in that situation what I ask mother to remove baby from the breast okay. because uh, what happens is the baby has a good suction. So, baby has held the breast very tight and baby is sleeping. So, you do not want to pull the baby kind of uh, you know just without opening the mouth because otherwise the mother will get nipple sore. So, uh, what you can do with your little clean finger you put finger in baby's mouth. Okay. So, what I am doing I am just showing it to you here what I am doing I am just at the corner of the mouth I am putting the finger and releasing the suction. Okay. So, as soon as I release the suction baby opens the mouth and then you pull the baby out. Do not pull the baby out just directly because that will cause nipple sore because it is held very tight you know the, the areola is held very tight. So, you do not want to pull the baby off you remove the suction from the mouth by putting finger in the in the in baby's mouth and then just kind of uh, pull the baby out slowly and gently okay and then again baby is sleeping so you want to again put the baby in a sitting position as i mentioned earlier you know so again put your fingers in front of the jaw okay and baby's body is resting on the on the 
you know on the palm and then the other hand is on the back of the uh, baby and then just kind of bending it forward. So, this is the position that I would like baby to kind of be awake. Uh, many times what happens that uh, you know when baby is attached and then in 5-7 minutes baby releases. There are many causes why baby release it. It is not necessary that baby has completely emptied the breast. I do not see that all the time actually because we do lot of physical examination that you know whether a hind milk is there or not I will talk about it uh, in some time. But uh, suppose if mother baby releases the breast on his or her own then again we kind of in a burping position. Now I do recommend burping you know because what happens not necessarily burping but just give some rest to the baby. So you know again I put the baby in a sitting position like that kind of bend the uh, body forward so that the stomach gets kind of uh, pressed and then baby will immediately within a, within a minute or so actually this is very powerful and we have seen in our unit in US that even small babies as soon as we put them in a sitting position they burp right away and they you know immediately they kind of uh, open the eyes which is amazing because you want to wake up the baby as soon as possible and complete your feeding on both sides or even one side you know uh, and not wait for too long because then it becomes too tiring for the mother ok. So, in this position baby opens the mouth. Now one point after baby opens the mouth is what I tell mothers you put the baby kind of or give the baby to grandma or father or could put the baby kind of uh, on, on the bed and this check whether you have uh, hind milk left or not. So, what is hind milk what is form milk let me explain that. So, what happens? So, we have milk in front of the breast and we have milk on the back of the breast ok. The milk which is present in the front of the breast it is called form milk. Form milk is kind of watery milk it is translucent it is more on protein and it is more on water ok. So, when you say baby sucks milk initially it is the form milk which baby is getting ok. After some time what happens the behind part the back part of the breast starts getting empty and that milk is very thick it is loaded with uh, fat it has some amount of protein also but it is basically very thick it is opaque ok. So, what we tell or what I recommend to mother at uh, you know many times we tell mothers that ok you completely empty one side. But when I say that completely empty one side uh, mothers it is very subjective because many times what mothers feel that they compare this side to other side and she feels that oh this side is heavy this side is light so that means now I need to feed on the other side. So, that is a subjective examination. So, I kind of stress on the objective examination. So, what is objective examination? I tell mother you check whether there is form milk or hind milk. So, how do you check it? What you do is you tell the mother to press the breast kind of against the uh, chest wall ok. So, you go backward backward then press it and then release it. So, you go again here I am going to show it on this side ok. So, here what I tell mother you go backward ok towards the chest wall. So, we call it press compress release press compress release. Now, this is very very effective way of uh, removing breast milk ok and in this you want to keep your fingers uh, just two uh, fingers away from nipple ok the exactly where baby's lips are ok. So, again uh, it is going to be uh, you know press compress release it should not be milking. So, if you are milking that means it is wrong do not press only nipple because nothing will come. If it is too close if you are pressing the breast from too close or if you are pressing the breast from too far milk will not come and if that happens mother will feel that oh my god I do not have enough milk you know and then she will go into all kind of anxiety and her you know oxytocin will go down and she will not release milk ok. So, very very important how to teach mother how to express breast milk. Then uh, there are other different techniques how to improve breast milk supply which I will take that session later. But again you know remember that uh, here what we want to do is to just uh, you know two fingers away put your fingers uh, press compress release press towards the breast compress release ok alright. So, here now what I tell mothers that suppose if she is pressing the breast and manually expressing some milk just to see what kind of milk it is. What I tell mothers to uh, if it is translucent if it is kind of watery that means the hind milk is still there ok. 
if if mother feel that uh, you know uh, the thick milk is coming it's very thick it's uh, opaque but it's coming in sprays it's coming like it's really pouring out that means that still hind milk is there okay but if she sees that the milk is coming thick milk is coming but it's coming in just few drops that means it's over so if she gets translucent milk which is warm milk watery milk or if she gets thick milk in spray i tell mother to go ahead and breastfeed on the same side okay so that is important that you uh, you know you again put the baby on the same side latch the baby exactly the way i mentioned okay and uh, continue breastfeeding on that side okay because we want each and every drop of that hind milk to go in baby's mouth because this hind milk has a very special kind of fat and this fat is very high in omega 3 okay specifically uh, your dha and your epa those are those two fats which are important for baby's iq for brain also it is important for baby's heart and for eyes okay so you want if you want your babies to kind of put on that good amount of uh, fat you know chubby babies uh, you may, uh, it's important that they get uh, hind milk uh in lot more quantity uh that uh, you know and do objective examination don't feel that oh no this is light so maybe i should go on the other side no you examine you see it yourself whether it is watery or whether it is thick and then you latch the baby and then you can do it okay so that is your very important uh, question uh, you know uh, point on uh, uh, front or uh, front milk or the back milk okay now suppose now you finished your one side okay you burp the baby and you know that there is no milk on one side now you definitely want to offer the baby the other side the way you do it is basically you again kind of switch the side and you again bring the baby the same way that i mentioned many times if baby is full baby may not open the mouth but you you do not decide mothers do not decide whether she wants to give it or not she has to offer the other side okay let baby decide if baby is full baby will not take it if baby is hungry within couple of minutes baby will open the mouth and baby will start latching on beautifully okay so this is important you make sure that your you know baby is uh, breastfeeding on both the side let mother decide now i have to give you one example which you know i just recently kind of went to one tribal area where i saw lot of these babies were just nipple latching they were not elder latching they were just nipple latching so when babies were nipple latching what was happening they were just uh, you know babies were just so hungry and this was like 2 month 3 months old baby had not put on weight for since birth and uh, you know they were really really kind of uh, hungry and you know very thin so what happens they breastfed on one side completely emptied breast then we put the baby on other side she have completely emptied other side also then we met, made the baby sit and again you know uh, baby were i mean a lot of babies actually they all were kind of feeding again on uh, other side third time and then again on the fourth fourth time so you know uh, don't think that okay i have fed on one side and other side and now i don't have milk no more baby sucks more milk will come okay please remember that if the latch is good if the hind milk is going very well if the milk transferring is occurring you know the more baby gets out of you more milk you will get in the next feeding okay so never feel that i don't have enough milk we have so many situation where Our mothers were never pregnant but still were able to get milk you know after uh, some you know, process that she had to go through but if uh, even uh, mothers who have never been pregnant can get milk you know you've been through pregnancy you've been through that lactation uh, stages so you will definitely get more milk so you know many times mothers say that i don't have enough milk i don't have enough milk uh, in my opinion if you don't have enough milk it's most likely because uh, the techniques are wrong and the latch is not good and baby is not being able to suck milk out okay and it's not it's not uh, mothers fault or baby's fault it's basically just we have to learn on the correct techniques of uh, latching okay and other important points of giving hind milk and completely emptying the breast and lot of other counseling points which i'll be discussing okay so this is here we we talked about uh, basically you know giving uh, um, emptying your breast completely uh, and then always offer the baby on the other side even after baby is done with second side you you kind of put the baby in a sitting position again see if baby wants to again check on the side if uh, uh, breast is empty or not if breast is empty you go 
go back again on this side, you know, give it till baby wants. Okay, do you do not, mothers do not decide whether she wants to breastfeed or not, let baby decide whether how much milk baby wants to take. Okay, in uh, ketchup growth, they breastfeed a lot. Okay, so many times what happens during certain uh, age period, they have a lot of ketchup growth. Uh, I would say more of about say two weeks, you know, six weeks and three months, they have lot of catch up to do and that is when they kind of breastfeed a uh, lot more. Many times if mothers do not know this, they feel that oh, uh, you know, I am not getting enough milk and baby needs more. So, they, they tend to start formula or cow's milk. So, if you can kind of counsel mothers beforehand, you know, and tell them that oh, this is the period that baby may feel more hungry, just feed the baby for a longer duration and for frequently if you can breastfeed, you know, your milk supply will increase. So, it is all supply and demand, okay. More demand, more supply less demand, less supply. Now, many mothers have this habit of, you know, kind of not realizing this understanding this important uh, counseling and they tend to start formula. So, what happens when they start formula, uh, obviously that uh, demand of baby of milk is coming from formula. So, now baby is not sucking that much on the breast. So, now breast feels that oh, you know, now baby does not need so much breast milk and slowly, slowly that uh, breast milk is going to kind of dry up, ok. Uh, there is something called milk inhibitory factor. Milk inhibitory factor is when the milk stays in the breast and it, if it does not come out, it tells the, uh, your cells that ok, now we do not need to produce more milk because if you keep producing mother's mother will get uh, engorgement, mother will get hardness of breast and then you know uh, she will have uh, all this complication. So, it tells basically it is nature's way of protecting uh, mother. Okay. So, re remember that milk inhibitory factor it is there in the milk, you need to remove that milk so that you know milk supply does not die down. Okay. So, that is why uh, you know demand feeding you know ba whenever baby is hungry make sure that baby is emptying completely emptying the breast, more milk comes out more milk will produce. Okay. That is nature's way if you have one baby enough milk will be there for one baby. If you have two babies, there will be enough milk for two babies. If you have three babies, there will be enough milk for three babies, ok. It is just amount of milk that baby is kind of getting, that amount of milk will be produced by nature, ok. So, that is the power of nature, ok. So, here now we are done with uh, you know basically breastfeeding on both sides. Uh, many times you know what we see is suppose if baby is coming kind of straight on like for example, in this position what is happening baby's neck is not uh, bent forward, ok. Baby's neck is straight. Now, this is the wrong position to bring the baby to latch on because in what this position what is happening the nose is getting pressed. Okay. So, when the nose is getting pressed, you know, uh, mothers, many mothers they kind of get scared. But remember that when you are pressing your nose like this straight on, you can still breathe. You can breathe even when your nose is getting pressed. If your nose is pressed like this, then you cannot breathe, right. So, when, when the nose is getting pressed, uh, it is basically pressing this way and we, we do not have to worry about baby not being breathing. Okay. So, that is important. So, do not get kind of worried because if you are worried, mother will be worried and baby then she will not be able to bring the baby too close to the breast. What in that situation, you know what you can tell mother very slowly, you know tell mother that suppose if the nose is getting pressed, you basically just kind of lift the neck backward a little bit like this. So, what happens is then the chin is going more forward into the breast, the nose is going backward okay, away from the breast. So, if you can just kind of tell the mother to bend the neck a little bit backward, tell mother not to pull the baby out because if you pull the baby out, what will happen? It will become nipple latch and a nipple uh, you know milk does not come. Okay. So, this is that is the important point all right. Okay. So, this is um, this is done is like you know uh, many times what mothers do is they kind of press the breast near the nose so that to keep the breast away. Mothers they do not need to do that because what happens when she is doing that look at her hand you know this hand will get very tired and she will you know she will get very very tired with just extending her uh, hand upward ok. So, you tell her nothing to worry about just pull the neck little bit outward you know just pull the neck outward little bit and then baby is all set. Okay, so, that was your uh, one point of uh, how to you know kind of uh, 
kind of not allow baby to press the neck, uh, nose into the breast. Okay, so this is uh, one point which is over. Now suppose baby is done. Okay, now baby is done. Baby's breastfed on both sides. Relax. You know, baby's. Uh, kind of uh, happy, most of these babies in, uh, in early kind of uh, newborn period they will immediately go back to sleep. Uh, many babies you know they may uh, play uh, whatever baby wants you know you can do that. Uh, how many times to breastfeed is another point which uh, we have to kind of tell mothers because many times if they do not breastfeed frequently you know then baby will not put on lot of weight ok. So in that situation what you want to do uh, you tell mothers during 24 hours I say that uh, like I do recommend 10 to 12 times because uh, our babies are born small and we want that catch up growth in first 3 months. Remember that our babies they grow highest in first 3 months ok. So, if you can double that weight by 2 and half 3 months as per WHO growth chart you know babies they double their weight by 3 months you know. Uh, so, if you can do that you will definitely uh, you know uh, you will have to feed more frequently ok. So, I would say uh, as per demand ok and if during daytime a baby is not waking up at least in 2 hours you want to wake up the baby and in at night time you know 3 to 4 times at night time and if his baby is not waking up at least feed the baby every uh, 3 hours minimum ok. So, that is your night time feeding is very important because there is a hormone called prolactin ok. And this prolactin hormone is uh, produced in much higher quantity at night. Okay. So, babies who breastfeed a lot at night we see them growing very beautifully very chubby. So, do you know I mean they do need to feed at night time even uh, toddlers actually I do recommend to feed them uh, you know one at least two times at night uh, because they do need night time feeding also you know. Um, during daytime you know many times what happens there is something called cluster feeding. So, in cluster feeding what happens uh, many times in the evening time baby tend to breastfeed more often you know uh, and uh, they would feed every hour and mother feels that oh my god I am not getting enough breast milk and baby is getting hungry. No, it is a cluster feeding ok. So, in cluster feeding what you want to do uh, many times they feed like 3, 4 times, 5 times in just few hours and then they sleep 5 hours stretch at night. In those situation you do not want to wake up the baby. Ok. You want to, you want to just see if baby has taken good 10 to 12 times in 24 hours and if baby wants to sleep for 4 5 hours that is absolutely ok. You do not need to wake up uh, and do remember there is something called cluster feeding ok and it, it, it does happen in the during evening time ok. So, this is your uh, complete uh, 45 points that I discussed. Uh, if you have any question just feel free to ask us. Uh, I will be showing now tutorial we have created cross cradle tutorial and the latching tutorial and this tutorials will uh, kind of take you systematically you know uh, through each and every point. So, that you can pass you can not only learn but pass it on to mothers if you do not have direct access to them. Okay. Uh, so, many times you know this mothers they call us on portion helpline you know uh, it is called 1 800 shishu portion helpline and uh, we you know they call from all different parts of India and, uh, and many times they even uh, actually call on direct line uh, from abroad and uh, through to tolls you know when we pass on this message. Uh, most of the time you know they uh, all the problems are solved because this this tutorials are uh, totally kind of problem solving tutorials you know. And since my mother already has a baby in front of her she knows where the issue is once they watch this tutorial they immediately kind of figure out uh, where the issue is and once they fix that problem you know the, the problem is solved. So, uh, do pass on this tutorial to all your family members and tell them to subscribe to it and also keep the notification on because uh, this is just one aspect of uh, tutorial on breastfeeding. But you know we have tutorials as I mentioned earlier on all the different uh, aspect of nutrition through life cycle ok. So, thank you very much I hope uh, you enjoyed and uh, do practice on model and the uh, uh, baby doll and also if you have any family members or any uh, you know anybody that you know who is uh, breastfeeding or who is trying or who is planning to breastfeed when baby delivers uh, do help them ok. Thank you so much.